And actually, one time when Furious 7 was filming in there, I saw the back of Vin Diesel's head. Ooh, don't be jealous. <laughs> Up next on the right, this big building is a mill. So on the outside, there's lots of fun posters, right? On the inside, they build the sets that then go into the sound stages or out to the back lot. On the left, we have bungalows. Those are offices for production companies like Monkey Paw, that's Jordan Peele's company. He wrote and directed the film Get Out and won an Oscar for the screenplay. His most recent movie in theaters was Nope, and Nope is available on Peacock until March 17th. Amy Pascal's Pascal Pictures has offices here as well. Her company produced Spider-Man No Way Home and the Greta Gerwig directed version of Little Women. Originally though, the bungalows were built to be used as dressing rooms for movie stars that worked here, like Doris Day, Rock Hudson, Lucille Ball, and Paul Newman. They were basically like apartments for the stars. Like you could live there full time if you wanted to. I think calling them dressing rooms is a little bit modest, to be honest with you. And back when they were dressing rooms, they were in a different physical location. They were closer to our Lancashire entrance. So we can move our buildings around. It's not unheard of. We we do it kind of all the time. Past the bungalows on the left, a big building made up of two sound stages in the back. And then the front part with the big windows, those are writers' rooms and dressing rooms, so it's all connected. Uh, the stages were built for the revival of the NBC comedy series Will and Grace. Since then, they've been home to shows like America's Got Talent and World of Dance, executive produced by Jennifer Lopez. Currently, uh, one of the stages is home to Lopez versus Lopez, and the other is home to the NBC series American Auto. Okay, so we've seen the front lot. Now we're going to cross out into the big back lot where we keep all the big exterior sets. First up to the left, you're going to see the Metropolitan sets where we give filmmakers lots of different options for city set settings within just about four acres of land. One section is to look like New York, which we'll see up close in a bit. First, my co-host is going to talk about what it's like working in the real New York City. you'll see it's a painted backdrop. It's actually modeled after a city in England called Bath, B-A-T-H, Bath. So you'll see Bath, England on the left, and then coming up on the right are standing sets where big hit movies have filmed like Hobbs and Shaw, Captain America, The First Avenger, The Amazing Spider-Man, and Transformers. Lots of TV shows as well have been here like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, American Ninja Warrior, Criminal Minds, Key and Peele, and Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., just to name a few. Uh, when you're looking at these sets, keep in mind what looks like brick and stone are really fiberglass and plaster. We also use a lot of chicken wire and wood in the set construction. And down some of the side streets on the right, you might see lampposts. There are lampposts on the left-hand side as well. Uh, those are props. So every few feet in our sidewalks here, we have built-in square plugs. So depending on what time period the sets need to appear in. Oh, you'll see some crosswalk signs as well down this last little block on the coming up on the right hand side crosswalk signs on poles with like uh, stoplights as well the same idea with the lamppost so we just plug them into the sidewalks and these giant plugs and then light them up and then we can easily remove them and bring out different lampposts depending on again genre and time period but we got tons of different kind of lampposts in our prop department that we can easily bring out and use uh, next on the right this big brick wall again none of it real brick it's all fiberglass sheeting that we actually make on property. We make in our big mill that we passed by earlier on the front lot. This wall was featured in a music video for a song called Walk Me Home by Pink. Uh, she did some wire work in front of the wall. It was also featured in an episode of Will and Grace. Uh, in the episode, Karen, played by Megan Mullally, takes a Universal Studios tour. And she's in disguise, but they drive through some of the metro sets. Here's the first little scene where Karen's on the tour going through the metro sets. Anastasia Beaver has <laughs> to ordinary tourists from the Midwest. Who do you tour? What part? Mission 
soda pencil cotton. And then a little later on in the episode, we catch up with Karen again. Still going through the Metro sets, but if you look at this clip at the very beginning, you can see our brick wall in the background. We've all had our share of humdingers. Me <laughs> included. One time I took a drink that said Lisa on it from my coffee place. I know my name's not Lisa. You are a bad girl. <laughs> Although, just FYI, if you're sitting in the back row of car four like Karen was, and you shout, stop the tram, that doesn't do anything. The driver can't hear you in car one. Just FYI. All right, we're leaving our Metro sets behind now. Up next on our screens, we'll hear from an Oscar-winning filmmaker named Peter Jackson. It's the original King Kong that, that made me want to do it. <laughs> I saw that movie on TV when I was about eight or nine years old. I wanted to become a filmmaker. I like films that just take you away from your real life and sweep you up into the nature. Kong literally does that. I mean, you're on board the ship, you're sailing to a lost island, you encounter monsters and creatures from, you know, prehistoric times. 